Hi, this is uh, Michael from BetterTofelScores.com, and I'm going to listen to the speaking practice test that you sent me yesterday. I'm going to give you feedback on it right now. So your question is, using examples from the lecture, so this is uh, integrated <laughs> speaking task number four, using examples from the lecture, explain active and passive attention. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to listen to it right now. So let's see how you did. The professor in the lecture talks about the two types of attention that students have while attending to a class. The first type of attention is the active attention, okay. and this is voluntary. Uh, the professor mentions that uh, students have to forward themselves in order to keep focus in the lecture when they are using their active attention. She, she provides an example of a Bioli in of a Bioli class, a class in which students are learning about frogs. And as this topic is kind of boring, they have to serve themselves in order to pay attention to the lecture. Okay. Then the professor talks about passive attention. And this is something, this is a type of attention uh, in which students do not have to serve themselves because the topic is more interesting and is unexpected. Okay. The professor provides an example of this and she mentions that when a professor, for instance in a biology class, they bring a live pro, uh, students will be engaged with the topic because it is more interesting. You did something different with your pacing on this, my friend. You're sp <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I got my COVID-19 vaccine <coughs> last Friday. <coughs> and I'm still recovering from the vaccine effect, side effects. Uh, okay, no, you're speaking quickly, fluidly. You did a great job, I think, with your pacing. Not too many pauses and hesitations. Uh, I think you had an organized response. It was easy to understand the connection of your ideas. Uh, not too many delivery issues. Like I said, I think you're improving in that area. You do have a non-native speaker accent, but everybody has an accent, right? I don't think it's causing too much trouble with your speaking. I'm going to be cautious here. I'm going to put you at 24 to 26 points on this practice test. I think, for the most part, it was complete, accurate, good control, the grammar and the vocabulary, and you've made some, some great, I'm, I was going to say modest improvements, but I think it's better than that. You made some, some large improvements with your pronunciation, so congratulations on that.